महागणपत मन सा स्मरा में महादेव मुद शिसा नमा महागणपत मन सा स्मरा में Karma is talked about in the Veda. Karma is also talked about as a means of our preparedness. But this particular expression, Karma Yoga, is used by the Gita. and the definitions yoga karma su kaushalam this is one definition how many definitions you can have a definition is supposed to be very precise and complete you can't have two definitions that means first definition is wrong and so when you define something like what is meditation so we have to take it into talk about what is meditation ध्यानम किम वी शुड नॉट इवन आस्क मेडिटेशन ध्यान वॉट इज ध्यान सो दिस ध्यान इज फ्रॉम द ध्याय रूट दट रूट इज मीनिंग इज एनी मेंटल एक्शन therefore you have dhyanam defined like this saguna brahma vishaya manasa vyaparah the excellent definition this kind of definition manas vyapara hat dhyanam if you say mental activity is dhyanam then ori also is mental activity then dhyan in fact everybody is in meditation all the time there is always something going on in the mind so you can't say mental activity is dhyanam then you can say saguna brahma vishaya vyaparah you cannot say that also dhyan so this saguna brahma means ishwara brahma with all knowledge all shakti all power is called saguna brahma gunaihi saha vartate iti saguna so that which has got all the gunas necessary all the qualifications necessary for being ishwara all the all the things that that ishwara required all knowledge is necessary all power is necessary then only there can be ishwaratva there are called qualities for want of better words so saguna brahman is ishwara for an activity 
Ishara is the object, is the altar for an action. Ishara is is the is the object. So Ishara centered action and an action that is directed to Ishara, connecting you to Ishara, and therefore. When there is worship, like in the temple or at home, there is an altar wherein Ishra is invoked. Then you go on uh, doing things. Where are st- there are many steps are there. Padhyam asanam. Then snanam, vastram, there, is, there are steps. Puja. You continue. It doesn't seem to really help. Simply just they put all these things and then give. Sometimes it causes problems. They don't know what to do. So this uh, in puja, vyapara is their activity. Vyapara is not a real one kriya. It's a series of kriya, kriya series of actions. It's called vyapara. So vyapara is there. Saguna Brahma Vishaya Vyaparaha. So that is puja. Or if you sing also Saguna Brahma Vishaya Vyaparaha, that's also activity. Therefore, what is dhyana? You have got, it should not include other things. Dhyanam means meditation. So it should only by your definition you cannot cover any other topic except meditation. That is called definition. That is called lakshanam. H2O if you say there is only water. Nothing else is it too. If you say Satyam Jnanam Anantam or Satchil Anandam, that is only Brahman. No other thing can be Satyam, can be Jnanam, can be Anantam. Only Brahman can be. And that can be only you. So in that way, it is, that is how it is to be taught, to be understood that way. You can't proceed. So here also, dhyanam is Sagunam Brahma Vishaya Vyapara, you cannot say. Therefore, we have to say for puja. Saguna Brahma Vishaya Vyapara Tike, that is common. Kayika Vyaparaha. An altar involved, material involved, hands involved, your speech involved, mind involved, and therefore all the three karanas based upon which we define different karmas in Sanskrit and in our uh, the teaching tradition, we have, we have, you know, divisions based upon for understanding. 
based upon certain factors. Food. Food, you can say, so many forms of, how many types of food are there? Oh, you can tell so many types. How many types of food are there? You can you can go by carbohydrate and and proteins and like this you can you can define you can divide you can create categories. So we have our own way of the bringing about these categories. So one bakshan, what you have to eat, masticating. Bakshyam. What you have to drink? Bojjim. What you have to do like this? Lekhyam. What you have to do? Choshyam. Mango. Choshyam. Next song. Fifth one is Ivy. <laughs> so, this is the only. This is the food. Four, four types of food. So four, four of the basis of division is wonderful. Bakshyam, Bojjam, Lekhyam, like honey. You don't drink honey. You don't, uh, you, you don't masticate and eat honey. It's a lake All gooey stuff. So this lake in, in Indian medicine, Ayurvedic medicine, a lot of lake are Jona Prasham. Are lake-hims. The Chosha. Andhra Rasadu. There is no other way of eating that one. That's why I say, Andhra Rasa, there is no other way of eating. You can't cut it because it's all fibrous. You can't cut it. Only juice. You have to do like this. Then you will find mango and develop beard. <laughs> so, this, this, is the, this is the only way. There is no other way. Choshyam. So this, this is a division. All actions are divided into three. Kāyikam. You perform. Mind involved, your speech involved, organ of speech involved, and limbs involved, hands and all that. This is called Kāyikam. Even altar involved, flowers involved, Various materials involved. This is kāyika. Three karanas, three means. Then vācikam. Now you can understand. Saguna brahma viṣaya vācika vyāpāraha. Or, it's a karma it is. So, Saguna Brahma Vishaya Vachika Vyapara. Speech, vocal action. And sag- vocal action is there even when you are shouting, screaming, talking, gossiping. But that is not, that is not talked about here. This is called Vachika Karma. Saguna Brahma Vishaya Vachika Vyapara Hastutihi Stavam Suptam Lela Altis Parayanam Kirtanam Bhagavad Guna Kirtanam Parayanam Vishnu Sahasranama Parayanam You recite. You chant, 
What is to be chanted is to be chanted. You can't sing Om Bhur Bhubhaswa. I can't even do that. You can't. What is to be sung is to be sung. Mahaganapatim Manasatmaram. I'll forget it. There's not meant for that. That is meant for singing. Because oh, it has got a structure. Meant for singing. There is no meter. There is a structure, raga structure. Maha Ganapatim Manasa Smarami Maha. Parola. <laughs> To be sung. Vachika Vyaparaha. Saguna Brahma. Mahaganapati Saguna Brahma. That is the object of your, your speaking, your singing, your reciting, your chanting. What a chant. Okay, now you can understand now. Suppose the same puja you do. Saguna Brahma Vishaya Vyaparaha. Not Kayikam, not Vachikam, but Manasa. Where it is. You understand now? This is called definition. This is Lakshana. That was they say. So watch your watch the tip of your nose. Imagine this chakra. That chakra. These are all imaginations. This is not Saguna Brahma. But they would say, on this chakra, you meditate Ganesha. Muladhare. So Ganapati Dhare. So then you visualize Muladhara means just imagine. Muladhara cannot be really visualized. You have to imagine. You imagine as though there is a chakra and there Lord Ganesha is seated meditating. Like this there are devatas. Then it becomes meditation. If you say Muladhara you imagine something coming up, etc. The coiled snake is getting up. Never disturb a coiled snake, I told you, you know. <laughs> so never disturb a coiled snake. And now it will come up. That's not meditation. That you are doing something. That's you are doing something, it may even give you something, but it has nothing to do with meditation. Definitely. Look at your mind. Mind is meant for use. It is not meant for looking at. Mind is meant for use. If you go on looking at your mind whole day and day after day, in the name of Vipassana, then what do you have at the end of it? <laughs> like, you know, they say, you become duller and duller if you eat too much tofu. This tofu, you know, the soya bean tofu, if you eat too much, not, if you eat too much, there is a protein thing in it. It's a good thing also. But if you eat too much, you become senile. It's a research paper. So don't eat too much soup. That's what I'm telling you. Don't eat too much soup. Vedanta won't work. <laughs> no. But you can take enough soup because it provides you protein. Therefore, uh, you have to be careful this in Hawaii. There was a research. People become senile in 50. 
in fifties. Because of too much proof. Well, what they do is they turn to vegetarianism, they make uh, tofu, this thing, tofu, all meat product they make out of tofu. To tofu hot dog. Tofu. There is one thing called hot dog. <laughs> it's a ground meat. And uh, and what is there? Nobody knows. <laughs> and it, 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 I don't know why it's called dog. Maybe it looks like a dog or what? It's called hot dog. It's a hot dog in, in New York is a very famous thing. And at lunchtime they sell hot dog. All the fellows come from work and then uh, they buy a hot dog in the street. They like our street, you know. <laughs> so like that they they have very clean, very clean. They have the hot dogs. Now this fellow is missing hot dog. He turns to vegetarianism. So he is vegetarian. But he has to eat hot dog. And therefore what do you do? Equal. Like sugar equal. So here equal. What is equal? Tofu is always ready. It is, it is colorless. And it is it is white. It is. Colorless, waterless, tasteless, <laughs> manna. And this is, this is what <laughs> Nirguna. Therefore, you can make anything out of it. It's available for anything. Therefore, you can do. You can make hot dog. Tofu hot dog. This is what they were doing. Tofu hot dog, tofu this, tofu that. I don't know many other names. All tofu. Tofu, tofu omelette, tofu. Don't have names. Therefore, so I have to learn a few more names. <laughs> so, so this is Tofu Tofu. Therefore, the study said, don't do that. Vipassana does sit little more fast, no thinking. We are looking at the mind. It starts. It doesn't think. It starts. You are beautiful. You too. <laughs> I love you. I do. <laughs> We emotionless, nothing. True. Same thing. Tofu. <laughs> so what I say? <laughs> not, not, nothing to talk about. The food, while it is good to sit with oneself for a length of time, that is an advantage. Good to sit with yourself for a length of time is okay. That is not meditation. Looking at the mind and nose is not meditation. Even watching your breathing is not meditation. Even though watching your breathing is good. Because you are not watching anything else, you are on your own lap. What is watched and the watcher, both of them are one and the same and therefore it is accepted and it is good. But meditation is Saguna Brahma is involved. You should connect yourself to Ishwara by, by a chant or by something whatever you do. The same kaikam karma, the pujana, 
that the worship, ritual worship you do, if you do it mentally, it becomes meritorious. If you recite something mentally, it becomes meritorious. If you chant mentally, it is meritorious. Understand now? That's called meritorious. This is classical meditation. Anything else, we don't call it meditation. It may be relaxation, it may be good for you. We don't say it is useless. We cannot say that. Because there is benefit. Except vipassana. <laughs> because it is a philosophy also, dangerous philosophy. And therefore, openly I'm telling, it's not healthy. Thinking goes. The mind has to be alert. You have to, you have to use your mind. If you understand this, then you have a definition. Saguna Brahma Vishaya Manasa Vyaparaha. It's called Lakshana. Nothing else is meditation. So, this we will refer only to meditation. This line, Saguna Brahma Vishaya Manasa Vyaparaha, it will not mean puja. It will not mean singing, recitation. It will mean only meditation. Suppose you say Saguna Brahma Vishaya Kaika Vyapara, it will mean only the ritual worship, not meditation. Now you understand what is Lakshana. Namami Maha Ganapati Manasas Marami Bharat Desha Hitaya Kuru Sevantum Guru Sevam Tum, Guru Sevam Tum, Guru Sevam Tum.